Hello traders, welcome to the Forex Boat educational session. In today's video, we will be talking about the gold and how to trade the gold. And in this video, you will be able to understand specifics of trading gold, understanding what driving the price of gold, what charts and tools should be used, and how it is correlated to other currencies and overall how to improve your trading approach. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can do that right away because we will be doing these educational videos on the weekly basis. Smash that subscribe button and let's get started. Gold is known as the commodity and the store of value. It uh, used a lot of in the technologies, it, it's used as a jewelry. But there are many cases as to how gold is applied and historically it's been a um, store of value, of course. So while it's a store of, of value, we can look at it from the different perspective, not in relation to the dollar, but as how the dollar devaluating. Because what gold reflects is the price of the dollar, but the gold price always stays same. It stores the value. And if, for example, centuries ago you could buy a good suit for the one ounce of gold, you can buy a good suit now for one ounce of gold. So this store of value and the purchasing power is the same. It doesn't change. So you basically guaranteeing yourself that you can purchase the same goods for the same value of gold. This is not the same, of course, in relation to the dollar, because dollar always inflates. There is inflation going on. It's a natural phenomenon of every economy. So it will continue to devaluate, of course, over the long term of time, if not forever. So while that's the case, we can say that the gold will be rising forever. But nonetheless, there are cycles, market cycles where price goes up, it goes down. But look at this monthly chart, for example, look at it. It's just pure uptrend. There were some pullbacks and then uh, it just produces higher highs and higher lows. If you look at this uh, chart since 1908, it's just higher highs and higher lows. Because even here was the previously made low and price failed to go any lower and produced yet another high high. So long term gold is extremely bullish and it will continue to do so fundamentally. There could be some spikes, some volatility, big moves, but all in all, the beauty of the gold is that the trend is long term bullish. So knowing that the strategies can be used by only, for example, or using or on corrective moves. So there is a lot of things that can be applied if you know this information and uh, you can, of, of course, improve your uh, your trading with a gold. How to look at the trend, for example, this the most simple way is to use the 200 period moving average on the daily time frame because it is the most common time frame. I do have here exponential and simple moving averages, two of them, uh, both 200 period. And we can see that price, as long as the price remains above the moving average, is simply an uptrend. There were times where gold went sharply below consolidation and clearly when the market is below or kind of goes up and down up and down this is no trending market and uh, there have been a tough times for the long-term investors because price didn't move for quite some time but as long as we have this sort of scenario when the price stays above the moving average this is the best time to trade gold and you know what the current time is where we are above the uh, both moving averages. But sometimes it happens that the price touches them. You can see it's very important to see whether the price did manage to close or not. Sometimes there are spikes produced, but no closure below the spike. And this means that the moving average is still holding, which is uh, still a bullish sign for the gold. Another thing is uh, when the price is above the moving average, there, there are ways to trade uh, for example, breakouts, simple trend line breakouts could be the way to go. Support trend lines, uh, resistance trend lines. There, there is a lot of ways to try trading trend line breakout. For example, the most recent one, we just had it here on the daily time frame price went above. So 
this could be in the long perspective a buying signal for some investors in the worst case of course there could be a massive drop in price where it will retest the moving averages but still long term it remains bullish and the probability remains highly in favor of the uptrend continuation as i said the best time frame would be the daily for the gold because it's a commodity it's a long-term trading mostly trend following so daily chart would be the best because on the low time frame it is hard to trade gold because of the huge volatility and um, also in regards to what charts can be used there are two types of chart regular and uh, logarithmic so when the price goes exponential it's uh, very common to use logarithmic charts on the cryptocurrencies and um, stocks some stocks go ballistic for example and here you can see this is a logarithmic chart and if i just compare it to regular it will be different okay uh, it's the same chart but calculated differently so uh, we can do different things different analysis with a logarithmic chart for example uh, if i draw a simple trend line like that and another one for example we can compare that the price will look completely different because here it was below the trend line and it it becomes an average price uptrend trend line but here in logarithmic it becomes a simple uptrend trend line so quite a different ways to analyze and with the channels is the same it's quite interesting to see different perspective of the price action for example logarithmic and the regular now when you start trading gold I think it's the best to understand that it's a lot more volatile than um, forex market so here the minimum for example that you can trade is 0 0.01 lot okay this is the minimum you can trade and this would be probably the same in forex as you in forex that would be 0.1 lot okay 0.1 because the price tends to go 10, 10 times or 5 times faster than Forex, which means that your 0.1 lot could be equal to 0.05 or 0.1. So this is, this is something that uh, you, you should keep in mind because this is completely different than Forex and uh, the lot size should be calculated, of course, accordingly. So that's what it makes it riskier. Uh, but also there is option to trade, for example, um, micro account or nano account where you can avoid this sort of volatility and adjust your lot size which you can make 0 0.001 and in that case you're safe when you're trading that sort of thing so this is um, how you sh you could trade gold and make sure to make these calculations now another factor is that there are several currencies which are correlated to gold for example swiss franc and australian dollar swiss franc correlated is because 25% uh, of swiss franc is backed up by gold and the australian dollar is correlated because it's the third largest mining country of gold in the world so there there is certain correlation and what we can do is uh, to see that correlation for example if you go to indicators and just simply type correlation and enter it now we choose for example dollar swiss franc because we want to see the correlation to the swiss franc but to make it uh, not a negative but a positive correlation i will enter swiss franc versus usd you can choose the broker you want apply so here we have the correlation i will just go to daily it would be easier okay it shows us that the correlation here is at the maximum at 0 0.94 when price goes below zero uh, this is a negative correlation means that uh, when the swiss franc goes up gold goes down so it's not that correlated but we can add for example another correlated uh, pair which is australian versus the dollar let's just add it yet again correlation and we will this time use the Australian dollar. We can see how differently they correlate, although the Australian dollar correlates quite a bit. It's not as much as the uh, dollar Swiss franc. So obviously dollar Swiss franc could be used as an indication, or I should say that gold should be used as an indication as to what could be happening either to the swiss franc or australian dollar so while the 
uh, gold goes up, Australian uh, Swiss franc also goes up. So let's compare and see what will be the case. So Swiss franc USD, we can see that this is the Swiss franc versus dollar, which is orange, and the gold basically is that is the regular chart. We can see how they correlate to each other. And um, this is quite a strong correlation, if you ask me. And uh, sometimes you, you can see that the correlation would be negative, like in this scenario when price went up sharply and um, Swiss franc didn't do anything. But all in all, the correlation is quite high, clearly. For example, when I trade gold, I analyze most Swiss franc currency pairs. And you can even use the formula where you add all the Swiss franc pairs, for example, together, and then you get an idea as to what the Swiss franc is doing. Like this chart here, as you can see, you, the, in gray, you can see the sum of all currency pairs. Or if I show that to you here, this is basically the formula where you just add up Swiss franc pairs. You can see dollar franc, Canadian franc. There is certain um, factor multiplier uh, to make sure that more or less uh, the moves are equal in terms of the percentages. And then we have this formula and all these Swiss franc pairs show what's happening with the Swiss franc. Obviously, this is inverted. This shows when, when this chart goes down, Swiss franc goes up. So all in all, this shows us what's happening with the, with the gold. Now let's compare that to the gold actually. So overall, uh, you can see that uh, this is how it correlates the Swiss franc overall to the price of gold with a negative correlation. They're quite in line and move uh, very similarly. Moving back to the gold. So that's, um, that's the idea as to how trading gold can be used, uh, how to calculate the lot size, and that it is a long-term uptrend uh, instrument, and that's the beauty of it. The, the not, not the easy thing, of course, is to find the trend for the gold when the market is choppy. The, there could be extended times when the price action is like here, but we are all waiting when the price goes above the moving average, and then uh, we can see clearly stays above. Another point, of course, uh, time frames. It can be used on a monthly time frame just to make sure you, see, you understand the big picture. Weekly time frame also uh, quite important because it gives you this first feeling when the price could be starting going to the upside, when to start buy only approach, for example. Best to trade it on the daily time frame because of the volatility. But of course, there are scalpers who would trade gold on the five minute chart, one minute chart, of course, it's possible, but just make sure you understand that it's much more volatile than normal fiat currency pairs. So that's um, about how to trade gold. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more of these kind of videos will be presented and not to miss subscribe. And of course, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Thank you all for watching till next time.